All right, I'm Scott Hensler, and this is a presentation that I gave at a conference about three years ago in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, and the main subject is psychotronics, and it's relating to voice-to-skull V2K technology and mind control. Now, the definitions are quite clear, psycho Tronics, psychotronics, and those things relating to, again, mind control through electronic means. Other psychotronic uses are remote electromagnetic resonance imaging. Now, we know this in the medical field for mapping the mind. Your personal cognitive signature is different from one person to another, and this quantitative electrophotography neuroimaging is capable of bringing out one one person's behavior, how they think, how they react, their personal uh, personality being able to be mapped through electronic means. This could also use be for weaponry, high power electromagnetic waves, even using sound waves, which is pressure, sonic, ultrasonic, and light waves. Both audible and electromagnetic are used as weapons. Cause and effect of these weapons, causing confusion. This can be in crowd control, also pain compliance, triggering nanotechnology via chemtrails and other bioengineered types of substances that can be ingested or absorbed into the body. And once it's in the body, otherwise being of heavy metals, this then can cause an electrical reaction to the electromagnetic waves that are sent to you. And this can cause mind alterations, brainwashing, human social engineering, and altering normal behavior. And this is not a good thing. This can bring sickness and diseases, cancers, miscarriages, birth defects, and insanity. A whole plethora of things can come out of electromagnetics when they're used the wrong way. This can bring into your relationships strife, uncontrolled emotions, divorce, rage, anger, even murder, and suicide. And I believe that the cell towers that are weaponized are capable of doing this to us. Who has this technology? Well, most all governments. U.S., Britain, China, Russia, U.N. forces. UN forces, by the way, use a technology called whisper communications. And what that means is each UN soldier, one can be Chinese, one can be um, Japanese, one can be, you know, Russian, speaking different languages. But as they speak, the transceiver going through a microcontroller is able to interpret the language. So if the Japanese soldier speaks, the Chinese soldier hears it in Chinese, and the Russian soldier hears it in Russian. And this is a technology that's being used now. Now, these secret agencies also incorporate private corporations, private securities, and special ops like black ops, all under the auspices of the Five Eyes. These agencies are, the Five Eyes in itself represent the United States, United Kingdom, Canada, New Zealand, and Australia. Now, for some reason, Israel's left out the Mossad, but I can assure you that they are very heavily into MK Ultra, Psychotronics, and any of the technologies that can cause mind alterations. And of course, there's other agencies all around the world, just about everybody you can think of. Again, Britain, MI5, MI6, Pakistan. You have uh, Polish governments. It's amazing what is out there and what we have to be concerned about. And over to the right of this, too, you'll see down the lower left, the picture is, uh, is NASA. NASA, too, is an intelligence agency. Don't for a moment think that it's only about space exploration because from space they can use satellites, again, with psychotronics. Now, these devices can even be sold on the internet to just about anybody that's willing to, to, uh, to spend the money. And the different manufacturers, here's just one representation of it, mostly these devices are used for testing, for engineering, 
But because they're so versatile with microcontrollers to be programmed, that if one knows what they're doing with it, they could actually use this test device as a weapon. Gang stalkers now have access to these weapons, including business rivals, family members, and even ex-spouses. So if you're wondering why you have headaches, if you're wondering why you have different moods that really do not line up with your personality, there's a very good chance that somebody is using technology just as pictured here on that left, the weapon with a laser on it. They can shine it right in because microwave is very directional. It's almost pinpointing and they can use it to harass just about anybody they want. And again, disputing neighbors can shoot microwave right into the home for under a thousand dollars. And that's pretty scary and I think the price is actually lower than that now. And how did this all start? Well, Nikola Tesla, at the turn of the 20th century, 1906, discovered scalar technology, a form of electromagnetic energy also known as the Tesla wave. And this is a unique way of generating electromagnetics. The Tesla wave, the longitudinal waves, differ from normal transverse waves. Transverse waves are your typical radio waves that you would receive on your AM, FM radio. And normally those waves, you know, they say the speed of light at 186,000 miles per second. Scalar is clocked at 291,000. Now, that's very strange because our sciences are all based around 186,000 miles per second. They never told us about the 291,000. So this technology that they've had to do various things, as I go through here, you'll see, they've kept from us and our uh, sciences of these agencies have been using this for a very, very long time. So by the 1930s, camouflaging, also known as cloaking technology, was already being experimented with in Chicago, Illinois, by the U.S. Navy, meaning the visual hiding of a solid object like a ship or a person via through electromagnetic influences. And so we know this uh, through different um, experiences or different information over the years leading to the Philadelphia experiment 1945 where the USS Eldridge not only disappeared and reappeared but the men on board were so disoriented some were even driven mad there were even those that were half in and out half out of the hole with their physical bodies but most of them had their memories completely wiped out and in this particular technology, they realized that, uh, for the first time, the influences of electromagnetics on human behavior. And this interdimensional influences also opening up dimensions. So now we have time travel, we have uh, teleporting, we have, we have uh, wormholes. And so the Montauk Project evolved out of the Philadelphia experiment in Bay Shore, New York, the island, in the late 1960s, using old military base known as Camp Hero, now part of Montauk State Park, because it's all been disassembled. A full operation by the early 1970s, closing by 1983, happened. Now this trauma-based mind control, and that's what it is because of the harsh influences on the mind, was originally developed by the Nazi scientists. They were released after the war of their crimes to join the U.S. under Project Paperclip. The OSS was created in 1947 by the U.S. Pentagon, turning into the CIA in 1953. The beginning of psychotronics, incorporating both radio wave and MK Ultra mind control to speed up the brainwashing and conditioning. So what would have taken months and possibly a year, maybe two years, could be reduced down to just a couple of weeks. And their experimentation was done on young boys at the Montauk camp, the hero camp, under that project known as the Montauk Boys. And horrible, terrible things were done to masses of these children. Thousands were known to be run through this location kidnapped and lured in from all over the U.S. and even other countries. 
Thousands were known to have died from these experiments. Also, many were intentionally killed by these methods to see what the human mind and body could endure. And even during some of the teleportation, when there were glitches in the equipment or power surges and the equipment failed, some of these children were disappeared into oblivion and never seen again. Now, the ones that had psychic abilities, the boys, these boys then were used in what was called the Montauk chair. And now, a psychic individual is using clairvoyance. Clairvoyance is a, a type of divination using demonic means to gain information and power or the ability to control things. And so under this means, this allows the individual with the so-called psychic abilities in the Montauk chair to electrically use the demonic influences. And this is not a good thing because many bad things came out of this. This Montauk chair was a chair within a radio antenna, a delta antenna, in the shape of a pyramid, a triangle. And it was connected to a computer. And so the cyclotronics, the influences or the electromagnetics of the mind itself, being transferred through this antenna into the computer, in time the programmers were able to uh, determine that if a, the, the particular thoughts of an individual uh, could be converted to some type of action that the computer can mimic, duplicate, and even cause types of, uh, of uh, damage to other people. Transmitting antennas, were, there were two types when they used this to use on individuals. So an individual sitting in the chair with their psychic mind ability could cause harm to another individual at another location. Now, the omnidirectional antenna is an antenna that goes in all directions. That's that vertical piece that you see at the top of that radar. And then the directional, the dish, is a focused one. And they used to take that dish and focus it to a building where they would have a child sitting in a chair in that building, and the other child that was in the Montauk chair would influence that other child, but they would also use that child to see what it would take to cause death or sickness to the other one. So this was a terrible situation. These directional antennas, again, as I mentioned, are capable of long distances, transmitting electromagnetic energy in the microwave spectrum that can alter and change minds, but even burn out a mind, even cause harm to the physical body by causing burns on the body. And many who have been targeted complain of burning on the body. And crowd control technology, we're going to talk about that too, because of uh, the 5G, being pretty much in the same spectrum that the penetration of the microwave to the skin, because of the moisture in the skin, water causes resistance, and resistance causes heat, friction, and this causes burning. So when they use it in crowd control, they're actually burning the people who are within the crowds, and it is so painful they cannot take it. Now, the Montauk chair was also used to create electromagnetic fields capable of splitting the dimensions apart, again, portals, uh, also known as stargates. Exci again, a psychic would sit in the Montauk chair and imagine and visualize teleportation and even different uh, entities that may be within the dimensions to either bring them in and out. Now, this, unfortunately, was a severe circumstance that ended up shutting all of this down. But again, as, as I mentioned, that some of them going into the dimensions were never seen again. So there are children, as we speak now, whether time and space has caused them not to age, I don't know. But they're gone, and they may still be alive, actually trapped in the dimensions. And this is a circumstance that, uh, that when Jesus returns, hopefully that will be rectified. And again, many unfortunately perished even before their eyes. Because this is also part of causing spirit, your, uh, your signature, your essence, your soul, soul capturing. This is also that same technology. 
Now, a disaster took place, as I mentioned, during one of the experiments that transformed the base into an interdimensional chaos, destroying everything, otherwise a, a creature or a being materialized on the base. And this, I don't want to call it dark energy, but in itself was something that was causing such destruction within the base itself and killing and actually consuming that they decided to shut the whole project down. Psychotronics perfected. Now this technology is being used under the control of artificial intelligence as well as human interaction. Also being used for cybersecurity. And the main facility located in Fort Collins is where all of this is taking place. So when we say cybersecurity, actually what they're doing is they're monitoring every human to see whether they're a threat to the deep state. Again, microwave towers that we have all around us being used for cell technology is one means of doing this. These are multi-weaponized towers capable of doing many different things. Now, the Gwent Towers, Ground Wave Energy Network, the one that I went to in Spokane, I had the opportunity to see it and monitor it with my radio equipment and found that it did give low wave all the way to HF bursts of energy. And this energy could cause disturbances within the human mind. So anyone that's around Gwim Towers could be heavily influenced with their emotions. Now, this also means that public communication, such as police and fire, rescue, can be used in this same form as well. Public broadcasting, local AM and FM stations can simulcast with different frequencies. Now, it's interesting that the U.S. Navy is the largest holder of U.S. patents for voice-to-skull technology, otherwise also known as the God Weapon, again based under psychotronics, mind control through electronic means. Now, HARP in itself is also used for this technology. Now, other countries, most of the superpower countries, have this technology. Russia has had scalar technologies ever since the 1940s. China is also known to use this technology, and I can guarantee you now that I've investigated Israel into a greater depth, they too have this technology since we seem to give it to them, which somehow manages to transfer over to China. Remote viewing, made famous by the movie Men Who Stare at Goats, became public through that uh, particular movie. Now, remote viewing is done in two ways. The old-fashioned way of astral projecting, and the other is through teleportation, semi, or full materializing. Now, I want to let you know that, too, the demons are in the midst of all of this. So regardless of its electronic means, the demon or demonization of an individual has a great influence of the ability and power of remote viewing. Now, my lab, a project for kidnapping or teleporting a subject to cause to to inflict psychological experiments by the military black ops. Now, what this is all about is to experiment to see what it takes to break a human or to cause them to think that they've actually been abducted by aliens. So many of the alien abductions were actually my lab. And it's uh, quite intricate. There's a lot to it. This is just a basic uh, summary of it. But understand that this is real, and this happens all the time. And believe me, teleportation of black ops is capable of appearing in an individual's house or into a corporation to kidnap somebody and take them again through teleportation away and do their dirty work and then bring them back, leading the individual to think that they've been abducted by aliens. Now, this is all done to adults as well as children. Some children are trained from birth to be agents of these programs and also to be able to time travel. And there's been pictures of young adults that have been seen in old photographs, such as Civil War uh, photos, that show them out of place with the clothes that they wear, giving the indication of the truth that they have come from 
the 19th or the 20th century back into the 1800s. And this again shows that this program is alive and well and is very, very active. EMP by scalar, electromagnetic pulse used to destroy electronic and electrical equipment. That basically is scalar. And this scalar generation can be from a nuclear explosion or a radio transmitter. And this can be sent from ships and planes, uh, even ground, but as well as satellite. And this is a, a weapon to take out the enemy's electronics. And if you are someone who has a pacemaker, if you are somebody that uh, is relying on electronics to keep you alive, there's a good chance that these indiv individuals will die, like someone who's on a life support system. Scalar is the weapon of choice for electronic harassment because of the Faraday cages will not stop it. So transverse can be stopped by Faraday, but the scalar does not. And so this is the perfect weapon to do electronic harassment to target individuals. And again, this technology can be used to stop the heart, to cause heart attacks. Now smart meters operate in two different bands, VHF and UHF. And so there's, there's a difference in the two that one becomes more line of sight. And what that means, as the VHF is used for a longer range, and so when the smart meter gathers the data from your smart technology, such as your smart TV and anything else that's monitoring you, can transmit that uh, information many, many miles to their, to their uh, transceivers and this is one of the reasons for smart meters to be placed everywhere. Such Almost every home has it now. But again, since it's VHF, UHF, this is a frequency that we're completely bathed in all the time. And this is something that is not, our human bodies were never intended to be saturated like a cell phone. Cell phone towers, same thing. This is uh, causing Wi-Fi electromagnetic hypersensitivity to individuals and this means sickness, this means disorienting, this means um, arguments and fighting among spouses and just irritability, you can't sleep, it's just a plethora. But these meters do not really meet uh, the seal of approval for certifications of being safe and so these meters tend to catch on fire and unfortunately, insurance companies are denying the claims when your home is burned down. And that is not a good thing. Again, these things can cause sleeplessness, mood swings, hypertension. Uh, many of you have restless leg syndrome. That can be demons. But electromagnetic influences can do the same thing, and along with a plethora of other symptoms. And 5G network syndrome danger. I'll tell you what, this is the worst thing that's ever going to be inflicted on mankind. Cell towers are bad enough, but bringing this up to a higher frequency, and what that means, when you go up higher in frequency, you have more energy, electromagnetic energy, focused on cells. So when you have a cell that is bombarded by electromagnetic the actual chromosomes, the DNA, can be altered and changed and broke down. So 23.5 gigahertz, that's 23 billion times a second that these oscillate. And the FCC approved this for that frequency and higher. This is their allocation. Anything in close proximity uh, that, that uh, like your body, your eyes, your brain, uh, your your reproductive system by these things called duplexers that's what a picture is to the right there it's a duplexer means that you are in danger of having uh, your chromosomes getting cancer brain cancer liver cancer prostate cancer breast cancer everything you can imagine leukemia too for the radiation because it's not quite getting up in the gamma but it's getting up high enough that it is an, an issue so you're going to start seeing these antennas on power poles 
You're going to see them on mailboxes. You're going to see them on on, uh, on street lights. You're going to see them everywhere. Because since it's such a high frequency, it's getting closer to the line of sight. And there must be um, a great deal of these in order for this technology to work. Now, 5G automobiles, this meaning that as you're driving down the road and you apply the brake, a signal will be sent out to the other vehicles that you're applying the brake and how hard you're applying the brake. And so the other cars with their smart technology will know that you're braking and may adjust to the speeds or getting ready to brake. So otherwise, if something runs out in front of you and you hit the brake, it'll send that 5G technology out to the other smart cars and they'll know to brake as well. And this is what they're trying to sell to us to make everyone safer when in reality they're putting us in harm's way to this radiation. The higher you go in frequency, the more the radio waves become line of sight, as I said before. And again, you have to increase the antennas. So that means the, the amount of antennas that will surround us will mean that we're literally, literally going to be bathing in radiation no matter where we go. And this is a horrible thing. So this means for them to do this, exposing all of us, including those in the womb, that all of, that those who are especially the millennials and those who are the generation after, from cradle to grave, the next generation are going to be experiencing 24-7 this radiation. And I'll tell you, the amount of cancers, the amount of insanity, the amount of sickness and things that will occur from this will be off the charts. So what about the World Health Organization? Why are they not crying out that this not should be allowed for us to be exposed to? Well, it's actually a private corporation who is subject to large corporation influences. They caved in long ago concerning cell phone technology and cell towers. So we have all been thrown under, under the bus. And you think your cell phone gets hot now? Well, I'll tell you what, that near-field radiation, there is people are going to be experiencing more burns. One of the other options or one of the other uh, things that take place through this is that uh, your pets are going to be heavily exposed to this too. And I think that uh, a dog or a cat that normally has a personality that is very loving, you're going to see that they're going to be very irritable and may be snapping and biting children more than animals normally do now. So let's say that we get rid of all of the 5G. We still have satellite coverage. Right now, satellites are beaming 5G down at you right now, just as on me. And this bombardment is causing irritation. It's causing sickness. This is one of the things that's happening to a great deal of us now, is that the 5G satellites are already causing discomfort and sickness upon us now. Remember, we already have, right now, dangerous levels of electromagnetic energy coming at us 24-7. My cell towers already in operation for years. So many of us... Just like an x-ray, they're concerned how many x-rays you get. Well, they're certainly not concerned about the amount of energy that we get from cell towers. And so this long-term exposure that we've gotten from cell towers, we're already at the tipping point, and now we'd be pushed over the edge with 5G. So the acceleration of sickness is going to be uh, magnified. So can you hear me now when I tell you that the amount of energy that's being placed on all of us, if you have a remote mouse that you use at your computer, if you have a remote key uh, board that you're using to type on, your hands being close to them, just as holding the cell phone, is causing radiation to be brought into your system. And what circulates through your hand? Your blood. So your blood is being tainted as well as it circulates through the body. All right, that's all I got to say about the uh, Psychotronics V2K technology and mind control. I can tell you that from this point forward, this is uh, not going to be good for humans in general. And watch out because I'll tell you what, this administration is pushing this. And if you think that uh, Trump is a good guy, why is he forcing this down our throats? All right, God bless and thank you. <music>